Well, hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. I do hope you're having a great day. Hey, I want to talk to you this week about the number 666. Yesterday was our 666th episode of our Daily RPM. And that number has a lot of stigma because it's in the Bible as the number of the mark of the beast. Here's what I want to talk to you today about. One of the characteristics of the beast, of the Antichrist, is they're going to be able to deceive people. They're going to speak outright lies. But yet people are going to believe them. You know, it's very interesting. We're in election season right now here in the United States of America. And even last night, there was a, a presidential debate, you know, as two candidates were talking about the same sets of facts, but yet they had completely different uh, statements about those facts. And one of the things that I think we need to be doing as believers is training ourselves to have spiritual discernment to be able to discern between the truth and a lie. Because, you know, there are people who are lying and there are people that are going to come on the scene as we approach the last days that are absolutely in the spirit of the Antichrist and the spirit of the mark of the beast they're going to tell outright lies and many people will believe them. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest ways we can guard ourselves from the Antichrist is to be full of the spirit of truth, to have a hunger for the, for the word of God, to put that truth on the inside of us and to pray that we would have the discerning of spirits to know, to be able to have a spiritual sense about us between truth and false or truth and lies. And I would encourage you as a Christian today, man, we need the truth because the truth will set us free and be hungry for the truth of God's word. Because when lies come on the scene, you want to be able to discern fact or fiction. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.